fait mal, M. le Président. Ça, ça fait mal euh, de voir qu'après 50 ans, on ne comprend pas encore ce qui est la dualité. La dualité... I'm going to go in English for a while. And, and I, I think one thing that I'm always appalled about in this house is that I know we don't all understand two, both official languages, but um, we're not even wearing our ear, earpieces. We're not even listening to each other. We're not even talking. We're not even really wanting to learn what the other side is. I will admit, Mr. President, there is a problem. There is a huge problem. After 50 years, it is true. We are not there yet. We are not there helping people that do want to become bilingual become bilingual and we're not even after 50 years we were not even able to communicate correctly what all of this was about francophones didn't communicate very well what they were looking for I think and anglophones sometimes didn't necessarily maybe want to try to understand what the minority francophones were asking for. So it's a big kerfuffle. I, I'm, I, I am 100% with that. Yes, it is. We have made great advances, but it's still a kerfuffle. Yeah, I, I don't know if that's how you say the word, but that's how I'm... Kerfuffle, kerfuffle, thank you. So, yes, we all live in New Brunswick, Mr. President. We all live in New Brunswick. You know what gets us together is some of us live in rural regions. We're rural. Some of us live in urban regions. They're urban. Some of us, jobs are scarce everywhere. We have a lot of challenges but one of the challenges we don't have in New Brunswick is letting people be who they are being a francophone I'm not a francophone je suis un acadien c'est ma culture c'est à l'intérieur de moi that's who I am It's, it's, it's everything that was taught to me. It's the, the stuff I eat. It's, the, it, it's true. It's the stuff I eat. It's the TV shows I watch. It's the radios. It's the books I read. It's, it's, it's who I am. It is my identity, yes. And I have a lot of friends from a bunch of different other parts of the world that live here in New Brunswick and that we do have in common. We live in New Brunswick. But some of my friends don't listen to the same TV shows as I do. Some of my colleagues don't listen to the same TV. We work together. We, David turned around a while ago, sorry, the member from Fredericton South turned around a while ago and said, you know, Are these differences dividing us? No. No, if they're not dividing us. There's a lot of other things we could be working on except attacking a minority group for being who they are. Segregation would be if the minority group didn't want to be in another school system. I've told this story in the house before. I played hockey when I was young. And I was on a hockey team where one person couldn't speak French. We talked English all year. 
that's a reality. It's a reality. Assimilation for a minority is a reality. It's, it's a true thing. I mean, all studies show that if I was at an announcement today in Elsie Buktuk in my riding, the people in Elsie Buktuk, some still speak Mi'kmaq, but not much. You know why? Because we've assimilated. We've forced these people into structures that are assimilated and that took away language and parts of their culture. <coughs> and the people in Elsie Buktuk are some resilient. They are some resilient because they are being able to keep uh, that language and, and I talked, I got up in the, in the house and talked about Dr. Mildred Malia and it's, it's, it's because of people like her that people were able to keep that language. Now when I said there's a problem, there is. Francophones are not looking to keep a language. Bilingualism is not a culture. Bilingualism is a societal project of having many different cultures living together peacefully and yeah I, I see I see the time peacefully together and and work on common challenges I, I, I have 3 minutes 36, right? Okay, I'm just making sure. 33 now. So I do have a sub-amendment to do, um, and I will do it uh, when there is a, a little bit time. So where I'm going with this is that community also must be included in learning languages. Not only learning languages, learning the other people's cultures. And we're different, that's all right. You know what? You could be, you, you could be, you could be queer. You could be um, of of a different um, a, a different race, of a different religion. We're all different. That's awesome. I want to get to know you better and work on common challenges. But let me be who I am. And bilingualism, yes in a state where everyone should be able to be who they are, duality is not separating us. It's building us. The problem, where the problem is, is that in our families, in our communities, we're not doing that extra mile. In communities, why don't we have a public television in New Brunswick? Why don't we have a public television with, with programming in both official languages where, where kids and adults could be listening to, to different shows and, and, and learning and, and very educational stuff? Why don't we have, and I see it in my writing, in Rexton there's a lot of community events where it's, it's done in French and other communities where it's done in, in, even in, in Mi'kmaq, when I go in El Cibokto, are public libraries. We have a system of public libraries. Incredible. I bring my kid in the public library and it, I, I just, I love it. He runs around, gets books. He doesn't know which one's English, which one's French. He brings a bunch of books and we bring him home. Why don't we listen to radio shows in the other language? But Mr. President, schools, it's not segregation. The Francophone minority has asked for that to be able to keep their own culture, to be able to keep their identity, the, the base, the les racines, les racines, the roots of what you are. So Mr. President, I'd like to move a sub-amendment to motion 39. Moved by myself, the member of Kent Norton, and seconded by the member of Member Cook Tantramar. I talk fast, so it doesn't take me time. I move that the amendment to motion 39 be amended by deleting that any 
by deleting that any decision on the entry point of French immersion be made within the context of a broader discussion on A and replacing it with the following. To maintain the entry point of French immersion no later than grade one and engage in a broader discussion on.